Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Little Pinay Explorer. And today we're gonna explore about laser, <laughs> laser eye surgery. And this happened like seven months ago. I'm gonna tell you my experience, the cause, where I had it, and everything. Okay, so just stay tuned. What is laser eye surgery and what are the different types? Basically, this is a procedure to correct your poor vision, whether you're having nearsightedness or farsightedness or astigmatism. For my case, I had nearsightedness. There are two most common types, the LASIK and the LASIK. Just to keep it short and simple, they want you to have the LASIK because it's the most simple with the fastest recovery as well. However, if you have thin cornea, you are not eligible for the LASIK and they're gonna do the LASIK. And you will know that during the initial consultation. When COVID happened, we wear a lot of masks. So it creates a fog on my glasses and sometimes I'm not able to see or I have to wipe it. That was the time when I really wanted to have the laser eye surgery. And then I found Optical Express. They have the clinic near me. So I went online and booked an initial consultation. They did several tests on my eyes such as the grade. They checked the pressure, the cornea. And this is my eye scan report. So I was happy to know that I was suitable for LASIK. And during that initial consultation as well, we talked about the payment of Options. They put me on an option for a finance which is like 500 pounds for the initial one and then 300 pounds monthly for 10 months. Unfortunately, I got rejected by the finance company. I don't know what happened, maybe because of my address or something. So, I had to pay cash. So, that's a total of 3,501 pounds. That's why I'm broke as of the moment. But, you know, it's just money. It's just gonna be earned. They gave me this one, the brochure. Terms and conditions that you have to sign. Some activities that I am allowed to do, that I'm not allowed to do within a few weeks. Wearing eye makeup, you're not allowed to do within the first week. Even getting a haircut, flying is within one week. Showering from six hours. But uh, whenever you shower, you have to make sure that your eye is protected. The water can't come inside your eye. You're not allowed to dance for one week. You're not allowed to wear fake tan within one month. Gym is one week. You're not allowed to swim for two weeks. Heavyweight training, you can't do that for four weeks. Two to four weeks with the contacts sports and going to the dentist is one week giving blood is one month going back to work is from two days this is the informed consent so there is a risk that a cataract will develop these are like scary things like risk and complications and it really depends on you if you're willing to take the risk all of the surgeries everywhere you go everything that you do there is risk anyway i was not allowed to wear contact lenses one week before the surgery it's always better for you to have someone with you although it is a very small procedure but you really need to have someone to pick you up or just to be with you in the first 24 hours. You're not gonna be able to use your eyes right after the surgery. And during the surgery, they had to check again my eyes. They checked the pressure, the cornea, and just everything else. And then I had to wait for like, I think 30 minutes. I went inside the theater. There was a nurse, the technician, and the surgeon. So they initially put in the drops. They inserted something on my eye. It was not super painful but it was uncomfortable when they had to insert it that was to stabilize to st stabilize stabilize my eye basically i was just following instructions but sometimes i didn't know where to look i think there is a safety feature as well with the laser because if you move it's gonna stop or something but i think it just took like 10 to 15 minutes for the whole procedure and i had to do my drops three main drops for the first week the first one is the antibiotic which i have to do four times a day anti-inflammatory to reduce swelling and the other one is the moisturizing eye drops this one is a better option because it doesn't have any preservatives. You can always buy this from Boots or any optical clinics instead of having the small bottle because it has preservatives in it. And I think it's not really recommended if you just had the surgery. Right after the procedure, my eyesight was really blurry. I wasn't really able to see yet. It was still the old eyesight that I had. <laughs> I got the tears in my eyes. I feel so weak. I feel so vulnerable. <laughs> I feel like I've been chopping onions, too much onions, really. 
Do you think you can survive this <laughs> post op? <laughs> Remember what you said? What? <laughs> Embrace the pain. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm pretty when I cry. Right? <laughs> hey guys, I am already at home and I did all my drops now. I feel dehydrated already with all the tears that's coming out from my eye. As you can see, I had to use this because I'm gonna have a nap. It's so uncomfortable. I'm struggling to breathe. I think it's because of the tears. Is it it? The tears. Okay. <laughs> How do I look? Am I pretty? <laughs> this is to prevent you from scratching the, the newly operated eyes. So, I'm just gonna sleep for a few hours. And, and then after 6 hours, I woke up. But my eyesight wasn't perfect yet at that time. I think I saw the difference the next day. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome back to my life. So this is 28 hours post laser eye surgery. And let me show you my eye. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? ta -da! Yes. I've got some redness. Look at that. It's freaking scary. Oh, sorry about the whatever you see there. I just can't squeeze or anything. I can't really touch this area it looks scary though but it's not painful i can see clearly but i think not 100 percent 2020 i have to go for an appointment 24 hours after the laser eye surgery and the optician saw that there's an inflammation to my right eye and i had to put the drops every hour the one for anti-inflammatory for two days and i had to go back there after two days as well so i have another appointment which i thought i wouldn't do anymore but i don't have a choice I'm so happy that I can see everything. It's just a miracle. This is real. This is real. This is... <laughs> after three days i went back and then they saw that it was okay and i just continued living my life i think the time that i felt like it was all okay was three weeks after that was the time when i was comfortable having an actual shower one month after the surgery as well i had to go back there and they had to check again and i had like 20 and then the other one was 16 so i had like better vision than 2020 now it's been seven months already and i am so happy with it although in the first few months i really miss wearing my glasses i don't know why maybe there was just an attachment with my glasses i believe it is worth it however if you don't have the money yet and if you have other things to pay then i think that's not yet the right time so i think that's it i hope you learned something from my video or i don't know but i will see you on my next vlog bye so pretty